If you're gonna smoke with me, go get your bong, your bowl, they're the same thing, your joints, and smoke with me because I'm about to. Before I show you what I eat in a week ish, it's kind of all the meals I was really vibing and like I wanted to show you. Banana pancakes is one of my all time favorite things to make. I literally just use baking powder, flour, milk, and a mash of banana. It's my go-to when I wake and bake or if I need to satisfy my sweet tooth. You can make this whole thing in one bowl and I absolutely love it. Your mixture should be nice and thick like this. Oh, I always free pour my vanilla extract by the way, like I ain't got time for no spoons. Make sure you use a non-stick pan. I usually will use two spoonfuls of mixture and that's enough for a nice decent sized pancake. Fry them for a few minutes on each side. If my pancake addiction has taught me one thing, it's how to make chocolate sauce. Just add a tiny bit of coconut oil and it makes it so nice and smooth so it doesn't set too quickly when you're eating it. Look at these pancakes, beautiful. Ooh, what's this? Okay, this is another go-to meal, but this one is brunch. I usually scramble either egg or tofu. If you're scrambling tofu, you have to season it. Otherwise, it's going to taste like trash because tofu doesn't taste like anything. My go-tos are salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, chili powder, and nutritional yeast. Season it, let it cook for a few minutes, add a little milk, and you are done. I'm not vegan, but I don't eat bacon, so I always go for this brand of vegan bacon. This bacon can be kind of dry, so I'll add a knob of butter for flavor. And I usually will have it on toast or a bagel. Probably a bagel, because who doesn't love a bagel? Oh my days, look at it, amazing. Like, can you believe this is all vegan? I cannot. You know when people don't like porridge? I feel like it's because they just don't know how to cook it and just make it with milk and water. But porridge is like everything else. You just have to season it, add some extra ingredients, and it's amazing. Also, the type of milk you use is very important. Don't go using skim milk or unsweetened milks because that's just not gonna make it creamy and you want creamy porridge. I usually peel and chop an apple and once it's cooked and shoot a little, I'll caramelize it by adding some brown sugar. Once it's cooked, I'll add the oats and milk, then some cinnamon for taste. I usually just put some to one side so I can put it on the top so I can make it pretty and aesthetic, yeah, I know I'm basic. Honestly, this porridge low-key tastes like apple crumble, like, it just pains me when people say they don't like porridge because you're just not making your porridge right, trust me. Watch and learn. Here is the only smoothie I will ever make because it tastes good every time without fail. In mine, I just add frozen fruits and a banana and protein powder. Ooh, I added two scoops, damn. Obviously, trying to get those gains, you know, just because I smoke doesn't mean I don't work out. If I'm feeling a little fancy, I'll add some coconut water and that's it. Next up, we have what I think is the laziest but most homely meal in the whole video, soup. Not just any soup, but green soup. I had a bit of a courgette left over from this veggie lasagna I made, so I used it for the soup. I added in some green beans and boiled the veg. Whilst this was cooking, I made some chicken stock. I'm using Maggie. If you haven't tried Maggie stock cubes, like, what the fuck are you doing? Can you even cook, like, nah. That literally like chef's kisses on my days. My cooking changed since I discovered my yeast stock cubes. Once the veg is cooked, put it in the blender with some water. I always do this because that water has flavor. Don't forget the stock. Because I never measure up my soup ingredients, I used way too much liquid and tried to add some flour to make it thicker. It like almost went wrong, but I think I saved it with the whisk. I had some leftover bruschetta which I threw together with my soup. I've been really feeling scrambled tofu instead of eggs all the time for breakfast or even brunch. I don't know why. I just had this on toast. I'm actually really surprised I didn't have it on a bagel. Oh, and I just added some leftover spinach inside because it was going bad. And this is the finished result. 
I love to make different cookies when I want a sweet treat or I've got the munchies. Shortbread literally needs three ingredients, butter, sugar, and flour. You cream the butter with the sugar and then add the flour. Once the dough is combined, you've rolled it out and cut the shapes. You literally cook them in the oven for 10 minutes. Here are the finished cookies. I think they look so cute. I did a little shoot with mine for Valentine's Day. Here are the photos from my Instagram. My handle is Laurel Anusa if you want to go follow. And that is all the recipes that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will be back with another video next week.